Hey guys, welcome to the 2.5k Q&A. First off, I just want to start by thanking you all so much for 2,500 subscribers. It's still only been just a few months since I started uploading on this channel and the continual support day after day has just blown me away. I appreciate all of you guys so, so much and let's hope we push on to 5k very soon. Now, just a disclaimer before I start the Q&A, this was a live commentary rather than scripted, so there will be some more stuttering and inability to form coherent sentences because I am incompetent, but I hope you enjoy anyways. And if I do pronounce any of your names incorrectly, I apologize. You can verse me in the comments when that happens. With that said, let's get into the questions. So first up, we have Crypto asking, how are you doing? I'm doing just fantastic Crypto. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well as well. Next question, we have Gotalau, hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly, asking, what is my real name? And it's already been answered by Bruno Alonso. It is Dan. It's in my username, Lankman Dan, Daniel, Dan, that is my real name. Yes, I think a lot of people have the misconception that my name is Desmond, which it's not. That's my uh, character in the game, but I, I understand the confusion, so don't worry about it. Next, we have Human Fish, Blake Kassa, and Nazakim asking, how old am I? Well, Naza asked, how old are you, Desi? And we've already established I'm not Desi, um, but I am 21 years old. And to answer Naza's question, uh, we'll assume Desmond is 26. Why not? And to follow up from that, we have Danail, I, I think asking when is my birthday? So my birthday is April 22nd. So if you have that, you can probably figure out what year I was born as well, but I'll let you do the math. Next question, we have Seth Sav and T Willy 123 both asking similar questions about when I started playing GTA and what made me start playing GTA. So I've been playing GTA pretty much since, well, GTA 5 I've been playing since day one. And what made me start playing GTA was back when GTA 4 was the main game out. Uh, I was playing Call of Duty with my friends and then they hopped on GTA 4 and I didn't have it. So, you know, they asked me to get it. I bought it and I started playing. And then from that point on, I really liked GTA 4 found it a really fun game, played a lot of online, a lot of the story. And then as soon as GT5 came out, I picked it up and have been playing ever since. Next, we have three questions in similar vein from Barat, Little Toast, and Jakey Wakey. Uh, so basically, the main question they're asking is how long does it take me to edit each video or create each, each video? So uh, it's a difficult question to answer because it kind of depends on the video, but let's just break it down. So first of all, there's usually some grinding involved. A lot of the GTA videos that I make involve buying businesses or buying cars, and a lot of that time I'm spending getting money. I don't buy shark cards at all, so I typically have to spend anywhere from like four to eight even up to 10 hours grinding money to get for videos. So that can take, let's just say an average of like four to five hours of grinding for money. Then the recording itself can be anywhere from two hours to like six, six, seven hours. So we'll say five hours again. So 10 hours just playing the game basically. And then after that, I have to write the script for the video, which can be another sort of two to three hours. And then after that, it's editing, which can be again, anywhere from sort of five to 10 hours. And then after the editing, there's like making the thumbnail, going back and getting some extra clips that I might need for cinematics, uploading the video. So each video realistically can take anywhere from sort of 10 to 20 hours. And that's the Adventures with Desmond series. Something like the five videos, like top five videos will be a bit shorter, but the big videos, yeah, they take a while. And then we also have Barrett asking, do I enjoy doing YouTube? Of course I do. It's lovely. It's great. Oh, and Little Toast, let me just not forget that. He also asked what editing software I use. I use Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. So yeah, that's what I use. Then we have Moonman asking, what is my favorite color? His is blue. Well, that's a pretty good choice. Personally, my favorite color is orange. Uh, it has been for quite a while. I really like it. It's like the color of the sunset, sunrise. You can see it all across my channel. But yeah, orange, number one. Then we have Jittery Jet asking, do I think that Rockstar Games and the affiliated studios are actually working on GTA 6 or they are working on an alternative, possibly a GTA 5 spinoff? I do think they're working on GTA 6. I don't know how much efforts they're putting towards it, but there has been some leaks like cin like cinematic screenshots or like maps. I do definitely think they have resources put towards creating the new game and I don't see any reason why they would make a spinoff. If they're going to work on GTA 5, they would just be working on GTA Online because it makes them money. So yeah, I think they are working on it but how far along it is i'm not really sure i think it will come out within the next sort of four to five years but apart from that not really any idea next we have t willy asking do i have a nintendo switch yes i do don't have many games on it but i do have one so i could possibly use it in videos in the future if you guys would like that then we have devillian or devillian i don't know why i pronounce that weirdly uh he says how many apples does ali have uh 72. Then your average person zero asked, what inspired me to make videos? Well, <laughs> this is a bit of a long story, but basically I've been doing YouTube on and off since about 2011. I made my first ever video back in 2011. It was a Minecraft Survival Island video. I was like 10, 11 years old and it was pretty bad. And I did that for a while, had a YouTube channel, 
back then playing Minecraft for a good two, three years. Then I made another channel where I did Call of Duty content for another sort of three to four years. And then starting up just at the end of last year, I started uploading Call of Duty commentaries. You can see that on my second channel. And then I am where I am now. I don't know if there's any specific inspiration I have in terms of people I watched back in the day before I started. There was people like the Syndicate Project. Um, in terms of Minecraft, I watched people like um, the Luckland family, if anyone knows who that is. Um, Paul Souls Jr. Rage gaming videos. There's a lot of people back in the day that inspired me to start making videos. So yeah, there's it goes back a long way, but I've been making videos for a very, very long time. Next, we have Shayla asking, what made me want to start this amazing series and what do I love about being a YouTuber? Well, in terms of starting the GTA series, I think it was really just, I wanted to make videos because I was doing those commentary videos for a while, but then it got kind of stale or I got kind of bored of doing it. And I wanted to kind of make something again because I haven't done it in a few years. And I was thinking of what games to play. I tried GTA, but when I first tried to actually record, GTA wouldn't let me log on. So it was actually a few weeks later that I managed to finally fix the problem. I think I must have been IP banned for some reason. And then once my IP changed because it's dynamic, I could play. So then I started making the videos. I kind of searched on YouTube a little bit what type of GTA videos are looking good at the moment. Saw the starting from level one series and then did that. And then that's how it happened. That's how I am where I am now. And then what do I love about being a YouTuber? Oh, many things really. I really do enjoy the actual video making process. I'm a very creative person at heart. So going through creating scripts, thinking of ideas, editing it together. I really love the whole entire process and it's really fun. Uh, I also just love having people enjoy what I put out there to the world. Like I, as a creative person, I do appreciate just being able to be creative for the sake of being creative, but it's really nice when people get to experience that and share it with you and give you feedback on that. Like I also play guitar and playing at concerts and playing in front of people was my favorite thing about that. It's a bit about the process itself. It's a bit about the feedback and it's also a possibility for me to do something in the future that I really enjoy. So there's multiple reasons really. Next we have ZXMA asking, what keeps me doing videos and how do I stay motivated? Well, if you go to my second channel, I have a video on there called something about, it's something about motivation or like the most important skill for YouTubers or whatever. And I basically talk about, there's multiple things that can keep you motivated while doing YouTube. Um, but I think the number one most motivating factor is having people that you feel that you will let down if you stop uploading. So on my old channels, when I did YouTube back in the day, I only had a few hundred subs, not even a few hundred. I had like a hundred and a few and a bit subs and making videos was pretty much just for me. And when I didn't upload for a few weeks, I didn't feel guilty because there wasn't really many people watching. But now that I have so many people watching on watching the videos, commenting every time, liking them, I actually feel like bad if I'm not uploading as consistently as I should be. So having you guys comment is keeping me going. Obviously, I don't feel like trapped or in jail. I really do love making videos. And I think that's another part of the motivation. I really, really enjoy doing it. And it's something that I would love to see myself doing further and further in the future. So that keeps me going as well. But having you guys there supporting me is the number one factor why I love doing this and why I'm able to stay as motivated as I am. Next, we have Jaredcast58 with the question, what is your favorite song? And oh God, that is impossible. There are so many songs I could call my favorite. I really don't even know where to start. I'll give you a sort of top five off the very, very top of my head because I really don't know how to answer this without going through my Spotify playlist for about five hours. So top five, I'll go No Interruption by Hoodie Allen as a just a legendary OG song in the Call of Duty community and I've been to his concerts twice. So if you know, you know. Then I will go with, uh, <laughs> I'll go with Zen 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 Ze by, God, what are they called? By Radwimps. It's one of the songs in Your Name, which is the anime movie, if you know what it is. Just really good songs from my, from my, ah, can't speak. It's from one of my favorite movies. Really good song. Love that. Then I will go with Missing You by All Time Low. All Time Low is my favorite band of all time and Missing You is one of their best songs in my opinion. I could pick any song from them really. I don't think they have a single bad song, but I'll just go with Missing You. Then I will say, uh, I don't know. There's so many to choose from. It's almost impossible. You know, for my fourth option, I'll go for a little bit of a more uh, underground pick. Not underground, but the artist isn't as well known. I will go for Soapbox by Kid Quill. I think it's an incredible song. It's like six minutes long. Uh, his whole, his whole, his whole ugh, God, I really can't do live commentaries. What is wrong with me? His whole discography is really, really good. It's like chill rap, hip hop type vibes. Soapbox, incredible song. And then for the final one, we'll go... Uh, we'll go Fluorescent Adolescent by the Arctic Monkeys because it was a signature song that I played when I was in a band in high school. There we go. There are the five. No Interruption by Hoodie Allen. Missing You by All Time Low. Zen 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 Zay by Rad Wimps. Uh, Soapbox by Kid Quill. And Fluorescent Adolescent by the Arctic Monkeys. 
Go listen to them. They all bang. Next, we have Top Gamer 89 asking, is it possible for me to add my fans? I'm guessing you mean on GTA. And while I have nothing against adding fans on my account, uh, since there is a crew system, I am prefer just to have like my fans join the crew and be able to interact with me through there. And then I'll have people who are like my friends in real life and everything be my friend on my friends list in GTA. Again, this might change. I might add people, but... I just kind of like to keep it separated, which I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's that bad. Hopefully I don't offend you guys by that. There's nothing against you. Just it's nice to have that separation a little bit, but feel free to join my crew. Uh, it's Lankman Gang on Social Blade, Social Blade, Social Club. That's the one. Yeah, so join that and you can always join my lobby, play with me, talk to me, whatever. Next we have Hadro and VR Gaming Guy both asking about the length of the series. So Hadro asks, will I be stopping by episode 100 or 200? And VR Gaming Guy asks, will I be keeping it going? Now, I was talking to uh, talking about this with someone earlier, and the issue with the C Adventures with Desmond series is that it kind of heavily relies on the amount of content within Grand Theft Auto Online. And at the moment, I do still have quite a bit of content left to go. I still have a lot of heists, I still have a few businesses to buy, there's always a lot of cars and vehicles to purchase and test out, but there will come a time in the future where I've kind of exhausted all the different amounts of content and I'll have to wait for updates to come out to really make another good episode. So I reckon just based off me thinking about it, I reckon there'll be another good 30, maybe 40 episodes of Adventures with Desmond, maybe less, that are like consistently uploaded. And then from that point onwards, an episode will come out whenever there's like a big update or a big event or something. So the series will probably never end until GTA 6 comes out, but there will come a point where it slows down dramatically. An episode may only come like once every few months or whatever. But instead of that, I'll have different content filling up that void. So you won't be devoid of just videos. I will make new stuff to fill in that gap. So don't worry about it. Next, we have Mr. Glassman saying, am I going to branch out onto other games for YouTube? Uh, yes. So one, I have a second channel, which I will, is called Lankman Plays. And on that channel, I'll basically play any game either you guys want me to play or I'm interested in really. So when the new Call of Duty comes out, I'll probably play on that. Uh, when, I don't know, Forspoken, if you guys know that game comes out, I might make some let's play videos on there. And basically, if there's any random game I want to play and just do sort of like a low quality video on, like a low effort video, I can upload it on there. And then in terms of my main channel, I would definitely branch out to other games, but I want to keep it in the same sort of style or vein as like the open world GTA type game. So Saints Row, obviously I did that review video. That's the type of game I do on this channel. Uh, obviously if a GTA 6 comes out, maybe Red Dead Online, I might try out. Those sorts of games I'll probably keep on the main channel. And then the other games I may put on my second channel, but I'm definitely open to any ideas. Next we have Liu asking, do I think about live streaming GTA and other games? Well, funny you should say that. I actually completed my first live stream just earlier today from when I'm recording this and it went pretty well. So I do plan on live streaming GTA. I think I'm gonna be streaming roughly two to three times a week going forward. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, look at my schedule to check that out. And then in terms of other games, yeah, I'll definitely be streaming other games as well. I think Fall Guys is one I'll definitely like to play with people. I'm sure there's others I can think of at some point, but yeah, GTA, I'll definitely be streaming and then there'll be some other stuff along the way that I'll do as well. So make sure to check out my Twitch, links in the description, links to my channel, or you can just type in like man down on Twitch and you'll find it there. Make sure to follow me and then yeah, hit the notifications so you know what I'm streaming. Yeah. Then we have Mellow Gaming asking, what type of capture card do I use? I actually play on PC, so I don't use a capture card. I use OBS to record everything, but I am planning on buying the new uh, Elgato HD60 capture card to record my PS4 soon and possibly my PS5 in the future. So that's what I would buy if I did use one. Next, we have Maybe Mayo. Mayo, Major, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Asking, if I made a GTA DLC, what would it be about? Now, I've thought about this quite a lot. What would be a really, really good GTA DLC? And I personally think... God. I personally think something to do with the ocean would be great. I think if Rockstar added some sort of like floating city or oil, giant oil rig, or even another island with some interesting stuff, and then created a bunch of DLC around different boats and different aquatic vehicles to go with, I think that'd be really cool. I've, I've said this in a video before, I think the ocean is really, really neglected in GTA 5. There's almost nothing to do on there. So having a whole DLC being based around it, I think would be absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's what I would do, but it's Rockstar, so who knows. Psycho asks, if I was a female, would I still be a GTA content creator. No, I would exclusively play Red Dead Online. Call Me Zorgo asks, what is my grinding strategy? I don't really have a particular strategy, I don't think. Um, it's tip. It's basically just a mix of doing the bunker sale missions whenever they're available, doing the ammunition sales, doing the bike shop deliveries from the MC Clubhouse, doing some payphone hits here and there. I don't really have a 
strategy. I don't have like a list of things to do and do it on a timer. It's just kind of, you know, what I'm feeling at the moment. I'll just do sort of a general check out my businesses, see what's see what needs selling and then just sort of do that. If it's on my other account, I will sort of do Kaya Perico a little bit. But yeah, on my Desmond account, it's just kind of whatever I want to do really. I don't really have a strategy. I probably should to be honest, but I don't. Potato God asks, what is the best vehicle in the game? Because personally, my favorite is the Scramjet. That's a tough question. Um, as much as I have played GTA, I haven't actually used many of the vehicles in the game. So stuff like the Oppressor Mark II, the Scramjet even, and other vehicles, I haven't actually used that much. So in terms of my favorite vehicle in the game, I'm going to give you three answers. I'm going to give you my, like, the coolest vehicle in my opinion, my favorite vehicle, and then sort of the best, like, bang for buck vehicle. I think the coolest vehicle in the game from what I've used so far is probably the... Deluxo. I think the Deluxo is amazing. Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies of all time. So having the DeLorean be in the game is really, really cool. So that's probably my, the coolest vehicle in my opinion. My favorite vehicle of all time is the Batty 801. 15k bike. It does the job incredibly fast when you want to. You can glide on it. You can get from place A to B. It's it's one of the best vehicles in the game in terms of the price you pay for it. If you don't have it, get it. It's amazing. And then in terms of best bang for buck, I guess the Batty is, but otherwise I'd say the Armored Karuma. I said this in the most recent video, the Armored Karuma at 500 k is one of the best deals in the game it's super useful incredible so yeah i'd say those three dynasty 8 executive oh a little website from los santos asks do i employ Di oh god guys i really can't speak what is wrong with me D do you enjoy playing gta 5 and making content for your subscribers yes of course i really do enjoy playing gta 5 especially since in the past i've never really taken gta 5 seriously i've always played just doing races with my friends or having a bit of fun but this is the first time I've really gone heavily into doing businesses, doing heists, making money. So I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I've gotten to experience a lot of new things that I didn't get to in the past. And in terms of making content, like I, I'm enjoying playing the game. So making content for you guys and seeing the feedback is just a positive on top of that. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Eliza or Lisa, I'm guessing Eliza, asked which state in Australia is the best? Anything other than New South Wales is wrong. Well, I'm glad we agree because New South Wales is the best state in Australia. Anything else is wrong. Hasa asks, are you going to make a GTA 5 story mode se series? Probably not. I don't think I'd make a series. I think there may be a time where I play through it, play through it with some mods, try a speed run here and there, but I think GTA 5 story mode itself is very, very old now. I know GTA Online is, but it's been updated, but story mode is quite old. I think most people have seen it or played it. If you're interested in me doing some sort of story mode live stream or series or something, I'm happy to do so. But in terms of like a series similar to my adventures with Desmond, I don't really have plans on doing that. Jarek or Jarek i I'm guessing Jarek. Ah, uh, so what is your dream car not in GTA? Um, pff, tough question. I've always used to say Tesla, but I think a car I always really, really admired is the BMW i8. I think it's a beautiful car. It looks really nice and I would love to have it. So probably the BMW i8 or something like a, a Range Rover because I'm tall. So having a big car is nice. So yeah, something like that. Then he says, do you think about making other content than GTA 5? Which I have answered and the answer is yes. Then he asks, why do you hate your assistant so much? Because uh, she's useless. And then name three games you want to record beside GTA. So beside GTA, I would love to do more Fall Guys content. I know I've already made one video on that, but making a bit more would be great. I really want to make content on Forspoken once it releases next year. It looks really good and I'm very excited to play it. And then I'll go for, I'll say Skyrim. Skyrim is my favorite game of all time. So I'd very much be happy to play some of that on the channel or my second channel or live stream it. So yeah, I'll say those three. Then a Villa Luck or a Villa Luck asks, what, who is my best friend in GTA Online in terms of in-game characters? Hello from Twitch, Spankman Dan. If you're in the live stream, you'll understand why he's saying that, and I hate it. Uh, so in terms of my best friend in GTA, GTA Online, I'm going to imagine it as who is Desmond's best friend. From what I can imagine who Desmond would like, I think it comes down to a few people. I think Tony Prince, he really likes and admires. I think Franklin, he finds very cool. And uh, he's going to be doing a little bit more with Franklin in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. And then after that, I think... As much as he can be a pain in the ass, you got to give um, some respect to Lamar for being the man to bring us to Los Santos, pick us up, give us our first gun and first little taste of the city. So yeah, we'll go with those three. Then we have Hydra, which is their name on Twitch because I can't pronounce that. It says, did you ever think you would grow this fast with all these amazing supporters? And honestly, no. I never thought in a million years I'd be at the subscriber count and view count so I'm at now within three months. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. It, I can't even begin to say how much I appreciate you guys being here watching the content. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think I'd be here. Realistically, if I could think of best case scenario when I started that first upload, maybe at this point I would have maybe hoped a few hundred subscribers at most, but nothing more than that. Where I'm at now is just 
out of this world and I can't thank you all enough. Then we have CHR Firas asking, do you watch anime? If yes, what is your favorite anime? And the answer to that is, yes, I do watch anime. I am a weeb. No, so yeah, I do watch it because it's it's goated, it's lit. And my favorite show of all time is Odegaru, or the English title is My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong As I Expected. Now from the title, you're probably like, what the fuck is this guy watching? It's actually an incredible show. It's it's a typical high school teen romance show, but it's a lot more than that. It's very deep, a lot of emotional complexity, great storytelling, has, in my opinion, the best main character and best female lead in any anime ever. It's just incredible. It's completed now, three seasons. It's finished and it has the best ending I could have asked for. Incredible show. Go watch if you haven't. It's peak. And then I'll give an honorable mention to Kimi no Naiwa, Your Name, the movie. Um, that's also up there for one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll just say those two. And then uh, if you want to ask me more questions, I can answer them later. Then Big Fat Crocodile with the best name of ever asks, on Twitter, you said your goal for this year was to gain over 1K subs. How do you feel about already being at 2440? Well, I actually wrote down in a Google document at the end of May this year, my one year goals. So one year from May, which would be May next year, what did I want to achieve? I wrote down to reach 1K subscribers. And then after seeing my channel start to blow up a little bit, I changed that to end of 2022. I wanted 1K subscribers. And now we're already at 2.5 and it's not even the end of August, which is just stupid, actually insane. It doesn't make any sense how I've gotten here. I feel, I, I don't even know the words for it. I'm, I'm not a religious person, but I feel blessed. If, if that's the right way to say it, I feel lucky. I'm just insanely grateful. You don't even understand how much it means to me. I've been doing YouTube on and off, as I said, for over 10 years now. And to finally have some sort of a breakthrough and feel like I'm doing the right thing and making it is just an incredible feeling. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's absurd. Thank you guys so much. Then Josiah asked, what is my favorite GTA heist and my least favorite heist? And then my least favorite business AI like Laszlo. Well, my least favorite business AI probably is Laszlo or my assistant. But if we're going to go for someone else, I'll probably say, I'll say Georgina. I know she's not really a business AI as much as those other characters, but just seeing her and Lester together make me want to die. So in terms of my favorite heist and least favorite heist, I haven't actually played all the heists. Most of the apartment heists I haven't done and the doomsday heists I haven't done. But from the ones I have played, I'd say my favorite probably is Kyra Perico. I think it just is the most interesting. The fact that you can do it solo is really good. So that's probably my favorite. And my least favorite from what I have played probably would be the prison break. It just isn't as interesting as the others, in my opinion. And then we have another question from Gotalau. Again, hopefully that's how you pronounce it. They say, are you going to do YouTube as a full-time job when you get more subscribers or nah? Um, well, that is the, you know, that is the dream. I definitely, if I got to the point where I was making enough money off of YouTube and other Twitch, whatever, to do YouTube full-time, that would be the plan. I do really see it as a possibility in a way. Um, I'm a long way away from it at the moment, obviously, but I definitely would love to do it if the opportunity was given to me. That's why I'm trying really hard to make the content as best as possible for you guys, so that could be something that happens in the future. But yeah, I would absolutely love to do YouTube full-time. I think most people would, to be fair. Then we have Coleman. I'm not going to pronounce your first name because I, I don't even want to try. Uh, he says, what is your favorite thing about GTA? That's a, that's a tough question. What was my favorite thing about GTA? I think back in the day, I would have said races. I really, really enjoy racing in GTA. I think it still might be one of my favorite things, but it's just not as interesting anymore once you've done it so many times. But if, if I get into a good lobby and have a good race, there's nothing that beats that in my opinion. In terms of everything else, I do really like trying out all the special vehicles, like the Deluxo, the Oppressor. Trying out all the different special vehicles I haven't done before is really, really fun. And I think Rockstar do have a good amount of creativity when it comes to those. So that's probably my favorite thing in GTA. The Real One asks, what is my subscriber goal for the end of the year? And will I ever start another account besides Desmond? Well, first of all, I do have another account besides Desmond. It will, it's the account you will be seeing in this video right now. And it's the account you see in the top five videos, etc. It's just my regular account. It's just me. It's just Lank Man Dan. So I have that account. And then in terms of another like storyline account, possibly i will see there's a chance that a year from now or six months from now i'll play like the extended and enhanced version of gta 5 and make a different character but no guarantees in terms of my subscriber goal for the end of the year like i said my goal was to hit 1k in a year from my first video and i've already smashed that out of the park so no matter what happens now i'm pretty happy but i think my goal for the end of the year what i really want to hit is 5k i think 5k from the for the end of the year is really doable 
I have 2.5K right now and there's about three, three to four months left to the end of the year. So I think it's achievable, but still a really good goal to hit. So 5K would be awesome. I'd be very happy with it. And anything more than that would just be ridiculous. And then finally, we have Bob the Builder saying, if I'm in the video, I'll give you a birthday present. Well, you're in the video and now you're legally contracted to. So pay up, boy. And that guys was the end of the Q&A. Apologies if you couldn't get a question in. I try pretty sure I answered every single one that was sent in. If I did miss one, I massive apologies. Um, but yeah, I will be doing more Q&As in the future, probably in other subscriber milestone numbers. And also you're free to ask me questions when I'm live streaming or in the comments whenever you want. But yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you once again for 2.5k subscribers. It's absolutely insane how fast I've reached this goal. And I can't wait to keep on making videos and keep on growing with you guys for hopefully a long, long time. My name is Ben Dan. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>